Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the four Regal decks from John Powell and Cutthroat Cards. Uh, this was a Kickstarter, Kickstarter that was successfully funded uh, a while ago. And you might remember I actually did a review for the prototype. Did this really big, massive review uh, for the prototype in all four colors. And so this is the follow-up to that. These are the printed uh, cards. All right, so if you followed the campaign or if you supported it, you would know that John Powell had these printed in four different colors. They were printed in blue and red and green and purple. And they were printed from the Expert Playing Card Company. All right, so the Regal deck, it combines uh, robust design elements with a very fresh take on the classical styling. John Powell said that he was really influenced by the classic standard English court cards, but he wanted to do them in a cleaner and more sophisticated and regal appearance, hence the name Regal. Uh, John Powell, if you don't know, he's become a gambler's warehouse, uh, just permanent fixture. He's uh, right up there with a number of the top selling custom deck designers. Uh, you might remember uh, we reviewed Double Black that he did. Uh, we reviewed the Occult deck that he did. The Regal playing cards are unmistakably unique, yet practical and familiar, and I think they're just a must-have for any serious collector. All right, so each deck of the Gambler's Warehouse Regal playing cards includes custom face cards, court cards, jokers, and tuck box. Everything completely unique and redesigned. Uh, there's even printing on the inner tuck design. Uh, like I said, these are all printed from expert playing cards and they are using metallic gold inks on both the cards and the tuck boxes. And so I just have the blue tuck box right here and you can just see that gold metallic ink just wrapped all the way around. It's really super gorgeous. And then even on the tuck flap, you have all of that uh, styling and then on the inside, you can see that as well. It's just a very beautiful tuck box. All right, so that's it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company, and they are super, super duper thin. Uh, when I measure these cards out with the caliper, I take 10 cards, and I measure them with the caliper just to give us an estimate of how thick or thin they are. Uh, 10 cards measures out to 2.73. Now, I've never measured any of my decks at 2.73. I have nothing for reference. The closest I have are the Killer Bees and the Keepers that Illusionist recently printed. So it is on a very super thin stock, but it is still very snappy. And so it's a very interesting, uh, very fun deck to play with. Okay, since there are four colors, I just figured we'd just show some video and uh, talk about the different four colors and just let uh, these cards speak for themselves. Red, red is the color of fire and blood. So then it's also associated with energy, war, danger, strength, power, determination, passion, desire, love. Uh, when you talk about courts and uh, regal, uh, red is used to indicate courage. It's a color found in many national flags. It's richness and connections to romance, love, and rage. Uh, those were all the inspirations that uh, John Powell used when designing uh, regal in the red color. The blue deck, blue is the color of the sky and the sea. It's often associated with depth, stability. It symbolizes trust, loyalty, wisdom, confidence, intelligence, faith, truth, and heaven. Uh, and it is also a close association with royalty and the royal family. Blue blood, you know, you get that phrase. The green deck, uh, green is actually the first color that uh, John Powell uh, started with. Uh, he was, that, this was the first color that was the impetus to the other four. Um, because green uh, just seemed to have some sort of a tie-in in in his mind with you know a regal family. Green is commonly associated with money and wealth. You know, money equals power. Power over everything has been a hallmark of nearly every regal monarchy ever known across the world. So it seemed like the easiest decision to make uh, when thinking about what colors would be regal. The purple deck, purple symbolizes the stability of blue and the energy of red, you know, because they come together. Purple is often associated with royalty. It symbolizes power and nobility, luxury and ambition. It conveys wealth and extravagance. Purple is associated also with wisdom and dignity, independence, creativity, mystery, and magic, all of which were the foundations that uh, John Powell based the Regal deck off of. The other interesting thing about the Regal decks is the black cards or the black suits in all four colors are black. However, the red cards in all four boxes will match whatever color the deck is. So in the blue deck, 
the red suits are blue. Does that make sense? Uh, so in the purple deck, the red suits are purple, and in the green deck, the red suits are green. With this deck, you're going to go uh, just simply says J up in the corners, and it has a very beautiful, loud, large, exploded design there in the center. John designs all of his aces with large, exploded pips in the center, and I do like that. I wish more deck designers would do that. I think it makes your aces uh, fun and creative. The pips and indice cards are going to be completely customized, uh, but they do uh, bear resemblance to other Gambler's Warehouse, uh, other John Powell Cutthroat cards decks, and so you'll notice that with both pip and indice. The core cards are also going to be completely unique uh, to this deck, uh, but again, you'll, I think you'll recognize them compared to other John Powell uh, decks. And here's a beautiful shot of your Ace of Spades. All right, so that is my review of the Regal deck from John Powell and Cutthroat Cards and Gambler's Warehouse. As always, I want to thank John Powell and Cutthroat Cards and Gambler's Warehouse for sending me these decks so that I can do the reviews for you. As always, we suggest that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you want more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.